Good afternoon, I'm Beatrice Reyna with your Panhandle Roundup edition for Tuesday, July 30th, 2024. A man is behind bars after strangling his girlfriend and shooting at her dogs. 34-year-old Andrew Yoakum was arrested Saturday in Harrisburg. Police say when they arrived, they found a handgun on Yoakum's waist. His girlfriend ran away from the home, but was later found with injuries to her body and throat. Yoakum was arraigned in Banner County Court and is being held on a $75,000 bond at 10%. The deadline to win a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to take a full curl ram is quickly approaching. The deadline to register is 5 p.m. Friday, August 2nd, and the winner of the lottery permit will get to spend up to four days and four nights at Fort Robinson State Park. Lodging, meals, and a guided tour are included. The cost is $29, and gaming parks officials say that proceeds from the lottery are critical to the state's bighorn sheep conservation efforts. Approximately $1.4 million has been raised since permits became available. And with high temperatures expected for the remainder of the week, the City of Alliance is reminding the public to practice water conservation as high water usage can put a strain on the city's water system. The city is even providing tips to aid in water conservation, which include they recommend strongly recommending watering your lawn early in the morning and less frequent. Use a broom to clear walkways and driveways and steer clear from running faucets and other household appliances such as dishwashers, washing machines, excessively. And here's meteorologist Andre Brooks with the check of the forecast. Well, thank you so much, Beatrice. And we are seeing quite a sunny start to our day here across the Panhandle with mainly clear conditions. And these conditions will continue throughout the day today as well. So if you want to go towards the pool or the lake or river, whatever, this would be the perfect day to do so. And our current temperatures right now are already in the 80s, exception there in Kimball, which is already at 94 degrees. And it's not even lunchtime yet, folks, and 85 degrees here in Scott's Bluff. And during the day today, we will see those temperatures increase into the upper 90s to low to mid 100s. So it's going to be quite a hot day for certain. So make sure you are taking it safe and easy. And once we get into tonight, temperatures will drop on down into the 60s. And we will see those mainly clear skies. And once we enter into our Wednesday, we will see those temperatures remaining on the hot side. So be Mattress is going to be quite hot over the next couple of days. And that's all we have for now. Remember to join us weekdays for the Panhandle Roundup, covering the stories in the Panhandle that matter to you. Have a great day.